Okay, so this is week one, um, number 45, baby bean. So we're going to be examining dry pinto beans and pinto beans that have been soaked. So we're gonna open them and look inside and see their parts. Um, and we're gonna be identifying the parts of the dry bean as well. So I think, I, I think what would be best to start with is to have the kids draw a bean um, and then be able to label its parts as you go on. So I think to start with drawing. So having a piece of paper and a pencil for all the kids and then guiding them through drawing a bean, maybe like a C and, or like an oval that you're gonna close, which you kind of dip in at the end. Um, and draw that on one side of the page. So there's my bean. And then on the other side of the page, maybe we can rotate it so that we can draw two smaller looking ones because we're gonna show the two, like when we open the bean, it's gonna have two sides. So I'm kind of working on my oval and then dipping in in the middle. So I've got my two beans. So this is gonna be my dry bean and this is gonna be my wet bean that's open. And I'm, I'm gonna label them. Now this would obviously be for kids who want to write and can write. I think for the littlest kids, if you want to draw the beans like this at home and then copy it um, so that they don't have to draw, that'd be fine, it's up to you. But now that I have that, I think we can go ahead and start looking first at the dry bean. So each kid can get a dry bean and then we're just looking, we're just looking for the parts. And I think it might be a great idea for you to also draw this on a big whiteboard so that you can be pointing out the different parts. So if you're looking in your um, Van Cleve book, they've got a really great diagram there of the dry bean that just shows three parts that we're looking for. The first one is the seed coat, which is just the outside part of the seed. So, you know, this is a great opportunity to talk about, you know, what do you see? What does it feel like? What colors do you see? You know, things like that. And the um, kids who can write can label it seed coat and then this little like belly button kind of thing in the middle um this little belly button kind of thing <laughs> is called the hillum and so i'm going to draw it a little better on my picture by making a little a little line but this is what i have so far and then at the very top of the belly button, it, where's my camera right there? There's a little, I'm kind of focus, a little darker spot right above it. You might have to take my word for it because it's not focusing. There's a little dark spot right above the whitish thing, and that is called the microfile. Micropile. So again, I'm gonna draw that darker thing on my picture and then label it. We're gonna go with micropile. See my drawing, and it just it looks just like um, what's in the book, and you know you can let them kind of uh, either using crayons or just their pencil kind of color the bean the way they look like. They've got all these like spot kind of things. So you've got your final drawing of your dry bean, and you could go through it again and talk about you know the different parts. Um, the page from CC Connected that I'm giving you has some really great, some more really great pictures, some really great discuss, um, things to think about, discussion questions to ask. So I suggest you check that out. All right, so the next part is going to be looking at the wet beans. So I will have these beans already having been soaked the night before. Um, so each kid can get one bean. There's plenty, plenty, plenty of beans. So it's sort of like a bean dissection that we're gonna be doing. Um, so I'm gonna get a bean out on my paper towel, one per kid, I'm gonna kinda of dry it off a little bit. And I think before you start, you could just, uh, before you start doing anything to it, you could talk again about the, the different pieces that we saw from the dry bean and just see, make sure that they can identify those. The, the seed coat is the outside part, the hillum, and the micropile. They're actually even more obvious once they've been soaked. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can see that little dark spot up at the top. Um, 
Also, you could ask them, you know, what differences do you see between the wet one and the dry one? Maybe they can grab a dry one and have them both. And they can see that the wet one is bigger. And you can talk about why do you think it might be bigger? Because it's absorbed all the water. Um, and it's kind of faded now. So, um, yeah, you can talk about the different things. The little belly button thing is kind of stained now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the hillum. I need to stop calling it belly button. Um, yeah. Okay, so the first thing to do is to gently take off the outer layer from one of the beans. It's from the bean, sorry. So taking off the outer layer. Oh my. So I'm kind of using my fingernails to poke them in kind of around the, um, you know, where the bean would open. Because uh, I couldn't, the outer layer wasn't really coming off easily. So poking my fingernail in down the side uh, made it really easy for me to peel off the outer layer. Let me bring this in so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm peeling off the outer layer. Yep, it came off nicely after I jammed my fingernail in. So there's the outer layer. Came off in one piece. Whoops, so I can, can look at that and examine that. And now I've got my, my naked bean. So I'm going to open it very carefully. And you wanna you know help the kids know to be very gentle and careful with this so that we can see everything that we're wanting to see. <clears throat> so I've got this, I've got this on my paper towel. And now we're gonna look for some more parts. Um, so we're now we're looking for the the inside part on this bare side. I don't know if you can see. The diagrams in the book are really helpful, but one of these pieces has a little I'm trying to, this thing, and that is called the epicotyl and the hypocotyl. So that's both both little parts are are in there. And so you would, you can let the kids see these and draw them on their picture as they identify them. And maybe you can be drawing them on the board while you're um, finding them. <clears throat> and so basically, I mean, that's all. So, you know, in the book, it shows the, in the book, it shows the uh, diagram right there. So you can draw that on the board and the kids can copy you and make sure that they are, um, identifying the different things. I think, you know, it's great to use a pencil to kind of look at it. Your fingers are kind of fat and get in the way, but a pencil can more easily point at things a little better. So yeah, this is going to be a great one. We're just talking about all the different observations. They can look inside and see the, um, the hilum and the micropile really well from the inside of the skin. So this will be neat. And I think there'll be plenty of beans. If kids mess a bean up, that's okay. They can redo it. No problem. All right, so that is week one.